Hi, welcome, and thank you for considering Apache Spark with Scala version 2. My name is Todd and I will be your instructor during this course. A little bit about me is that I'm a 20 year veteran in software development and I've been using Apache Spark for the last couple of years. I haven't been this excited about a technology for a long time and I think we're just in the beginning of what Apache Spark can provide. The benefits of this course include being very hands-on. I believe with learning any new skill, you've got to really dig in and get your hands dirty, as they say, or become hands-on in order for you to gain confidence. I want you to be confident at the end of this course, and I know you will be if you stay with me through all these examples. Another benefit of this course is that we've got a discussion board that you can ask any questions or see what other students are asking throughout the course. It's not just the course videos themselves and all the lessons, but any time along the way, by purchasing this course, you have access to this discussion board where I'm always answering questions. How is this course structured, or what will be the approach for learning Apache Spark with Scala? First, we're going to start off with covering the Spark Core Fundamentals. We'll cover things like Resilient Distributed Data Sets, RDDs. And then we'll talk about transformations and actions. From there, we're going to run some code and we'll show these, these concepts with working code. Afterwards, we'll move to preparing your environment. We'll make sure that you can download, install, and verify you're able to run all of the sample code provided in this course. Speaking of code, next we'll be moving into detailed analysis of all the code within this, pro within this class. Next, we'll move on to Spark clustering. We're going to set up our own standalone cluster and also a cluster on Amazon EC2. From there, we'll move to Spark SQL where, where we'll interact with things like CSV, JDBC, and JSON data sorts. Next, we'll move on to Spark Streaming, and we're going to run some examples, and we're going to create our own custom streaming example. Finally, we'll build upon our custom streaming example by adding some machine learning code to this example. Throughout this course, we're going to build upon each section's learning. We're going to have quizzes throughout, and there's going to be plenty of time for hands-on interactions. Not to mention, we've always got the discussion boards for questions and answers. Who would I consider my ideal student for this class? I'd say first and foremost, anyone that has a desire to learn more about Apache Spark with Scala. Now, I don't expect you to be a Scala expert by any means. In fact, you might be a total Scala beginner. If you are, that's okay. We're going to have a lot of simple examples in Scala, and we're going to move to more advanced examples. So not only will this course help your Apache Spark skills, but it'll help your Scala skills as well. All right, if this sounds interesting to you, the next steps are for you to join me in the course. I look forward to seeing you soon.